Today, First News got the revised budget to get Niles out of fiscal emergency from the Ohio Auditor's Office. It included some of the items in the original plan passed in December and new ones proposed by new Mayor Tom Skarnecchia. The Niles fiscal situation is our top story at 11. There are 13 items in the mayor's plan. Here are the highlights. The biggest is an additional $300,000 in layoffs on top of the $600,000 already made. There are also $200,000 in health care savings, but there were no specifics mentioned. $150,000 will come from the Wellness Center, including selling naming rights, cutting staff, and increasing fees. $74,000 will come from an early response being charged to ambulance companies for responding to calls. $44,000 from an impound lot the city will start for towed cars. The police department will eliminate minimum staffing, and the dispatchers will stay and be paid out of an enterprise fund. Now the city needs to cut $1.5 million dollars. This plan saves 1.8 million. It still needs approved by the state commission overseeing Niles fiscal emergency and Niles City Council. Mayor Skarnecki is confident it will work. We will make it work, Stan. We have to. <laughs> Depending on what happens with our, our tax in, uh, on the March 15th ballot, if it doesn't work, we have to make this work. Now, the tax the mayor talked about is a half percent income tax increase that will be on the March 15th ballot. If it passes, many of the proposed cuts will go away. Earlier this evening in Niles, there was a town hall meeting to discuss the tax, and 200 people showed up. Our Lady of Mount Carmel Hall was standing room only as Patrolman Robert Makita started by explaining how badly the city needs the money and the details of the half percent income tax increase. You make 60000 a year, you pay $900 in taxes now. You would be paying $1,200, it's a $300 increase, that would cost you $577 a week. It's two uh, mochaccinos at Starbucks. Officer Makita showed examples of police cars that needed replaced and other improvements that were needed. The tax will generate $2 million extra dollars for police and fire only. It doesn't seem like it, it's even possible a half a percent is going to buy the new fire trucks and the new police trucks and keep people employed. One man thought more city employees other than police and fire should be laid off. He complained of maintenance crews being idle, which prompted a response from the AFSCME union president. Fine, you saw 150 guys drinking coffee. You could see a whole stadium full of people drinking coffee. It will not save one fire police job if you don't pass this levy. One woman explained what happened when police and fire were laid off and the Rolling Acres Mall in Akron closed. It was a warning of what could happen to the Eastwood Mall. You get less sales tax because they're not selling anything. And then suddenly the whole place is closed. Yard signs and pamphlets were passed out in support of the levy, and most people at the meeting seemed to support the tax increase. It should have happened maybe a couple of years ago, but now everybody got together. Now's the time to vote. <laughs> While well, retirees will be exempt from the Niles income tax increase, one woman wondered if that was a good idea. She thinks half of Niles has retired, but she was assured that those not paying were factored into the final amount that will be raised.